Okay, so today I'm excited that I get to talk about something that's a little bit older than me for a change. AI. So everyone keeps talking about AI as being so new and everything else, but it's actually been around for a very, very long time. But anyone like me feeling a little bit like that when it comes to getting to grips with AI right now and getting it into your Moodle and education? Should I also mention that anyone that participates does get rewarded with chocolate and lollies by my luck? Yeah, there we go. A couple of people are struggling and require some, <laughs> some sugar. Awesome. All right, so for me, there were a few key questions that came to mind when this year it was all around, let's get AI into our Moodle. So a couple of very small questions, you know, like, will it replace me? And if I have more pina coladas, it might. The biggest question for me was around the reality versus the hype. All right, so you've got people saying that AI is kind of almost like human-like, and then you've got the others saying, well, no, it's not, and you're all guinea pigs right now, and it's all very new. So there are a few key things for us to keep an eye on. All right, so things like, well, the data, how recent is the data? There's a chocolate, oh, where's my lovely assistant gone? There he is. There's a chocolate for anyone who knows when ChatGPT last got all, it's data that it's using. That'll do it, September 2021, beautiful. So it's not quite as up to date as all of us good people. Um, we've all talked about over the last few days, there's some bias because uh, we made it. And it lies, so I would contend it is actually very human because it does like to lie rather than go, I don't know. And the biggest thing obviously for us to keep an eye on as Moodlers is us and how we choose to use it. But there's plenty to be happy about. There's lots of cool things that we can do. So I thought today we might start with a little bit of chat GPT stuff. So for instance, chat GPT is really cool at doing Q&A. Put up your hand if you already knew that. Come on, Chad, you're gonna be really busy now, buddy. <laughs> and he also reserves the right, if you're not interacting enough, he's going to throw a lolly directly at you. So it's really good when you're not sure, right? So Q&A, easy. Simplifying and summarizing, that sounds like something that's pretty cool for education. So we like that. It's really good at step-by-step -step instructions, starting to see a little bit of a trend here. Am I now worried that I'm gonna be replaced? I can't drink yet, so I'm okay. It's really good at writing simulations and role plays. Awesome, I like the sound of that. And very human-like, it likes to act like it's an expert in particular things. That's one of the roles that it can do, right? This is the scary part for the AI, because <laughs> I can teach it to write like me. So the world could become a very scary place very quickly. So then I started to think, well, what could I do with all that? That sounds education type stuff. So here's some random ideas out of this brain. Good luck. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, there's at least a few years and a few chocolates coming your way. I'm just wondering, is it before or after the envelope these ideas And moving on to the next slide. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure about the concept of before alcohol, but I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll ask chat GPT. All right, so obviously you can help us write content. Now we know it's not perfect, right? But has anyone ever had to work on a project where someone says, I've got all this content for you to build a Moodle course? Ever happened to you? Yeah? Okay, we've got... He keeps sitting down, stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you very busy. All right, so I've had that all the time. Yet we've got content, here it is. You look at the content and your first reaction is, that's awful. <laughs> what were you thinking? That's not what I would call content. So obviously, we could use it to help us with that, right? Or they're really honest and they go, we've got no content. What I really love is it makes it easier for me to make content alternatives. 
Pop up your hand if you think you're a good educator. Oh crap, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> I'm only two chocolates out of it. Oh, I'm not good at maths, but that was really bad. Do you want to try it again? Who in here is a good educator or would like to pretend to be for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> Winning. All right, so good educators want to provide alternatives for their learners, right? So AI is a really good option for that. And creating additional resources. So if you're a learning experienced person, learning designer, instructional designer, whatever title you want to give yourself today, um, you're often going to want to provide feedback and extra stuff when someone's doing a quiz or a scenario. So it can be really good for then creating some additional resources for that. Um, so remember, changing from viewing to doing. I really like the fact that you can take something really complex and ask it to simplify that. I have to do that all the time. It helps me a lot. Translating content. Not great, but hell, it's better than me at translating content, so I think that could be useful. Creating images. Anyone had a go at creating an image? Remember there's chocolates and lollies on the line here. Just blatant lying is acceptable. Beautiful. If Chad sits down, you're in trouble, and I'll just keep talking. All right, so obviously it can be really good for creating images. One of the problems for me when creating courses is lack of images, so woohoo. Building activities, change from viewing to doing. So maybe I'm stuck for an idea for an activity, or I have an idea for an activity, but I don't know what to shove in it. All right, so it can help me with that. Case studies. Yeah, who doesn't love to put a good case study or an example in their course? Anyone like to do that? Lollies on the line. Yep. Beautiful. All right, but it can be hard to find the right one. So now I've got this lovely virtual assistant that will just make one for me. Winning. Gives me more time to party. Oh, writing assessments is really easy, right? Said no one ever. All right, so writing assessments takes a long time and then coming up with the answers and the feedback and all of that can really help us with that. And of course, students, the, what's the one thing that the student wants to know on day one? Anyone know? Anyone have? What's my grade? What's my grade? What do I have to do to pass? Right? There's, okay, works for HQ, but yeah. Yeah, the smallest one, but it'll be all right. So, you can use it to help you to write some practice questions because they'll love you for that, but usually you don't have enough time to get to that stage, right? Because you spend all your time building these really awesome assessments. Discussion topics, who doesn't love death by forum? Come on. So if you're getting a bit stuck for some ideas to pop into your discussion forums, it can help you with that. Uh, frequently asked questions, right? You probably got some that the students frequently ask you, but you can pad that out, particularly with some answers as well. And if you get lonely like me when there's no party, you can have conversations with it. Now that can be pretty handy, because anyone here ever have to work on a Moodle course all alone? Is anyone else all alone like me? Yeah, look, chocolate. <laughs> so it can be really good to help you to have some conversations, bounce some ideas around, do a bit of brainstorming, right? Now, I'm thinking that there's probably some other stuff that I could do, not just chat GPT, right? So when this whole slide deck is already out of date by the time I'd written it. In fact, by the end of the 20 minutes, everything I've said is out of date, right? Minor detail. Well, I've got drinks to fix that. So I had a look at some other tools. I'm not going to name the tools because they're already out of date and there's probably something better. But here's some ideas of some other AI tools that are free that can help you to do some cool stuff in Moodle courses. Because just remind me, who in here wanted to do something great in a Moodle course? I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. A couple of you did? Yeah, the rest of you suck. All right, got it. Put some effort into it. Lift your game. All right, so we know that learners love videos. It can be hard to make videos. There are tools that will write the script for the video. You know, if you're a bit of a diva, you don't mind being on stage then it can write the script for you, or maybe you're making some animated videos. 
or maybe you don't shut up and your video is really long and you need it to chunk it down into smaller bits because editing a video is really quick and easy, isn't it? No, it's not. Maybe you've got a video, but you'd like a text version of that. There's a tool for that. There's lots of tools in this room. Convert speech into text. Awesome, I like that. In fact, I used that when someone gave me a video and I didn't like their video, but I liked their audio and I wanted the transcript. Don't tell them. Is that safe with you? We're okay? Maybe you're running some webinars and you'd like a transcript from that. All right, so there's plenty of tools that will do that now. If you've got text and you'd like an audio version, but wait, there's a tool for that too. Anyone done any of these things so far already in their Moodle course? <gasps> I'm seeing lots of lollies. He's sitting down, so you guys suck. You are not interacting enough to keep Chad with his step count up. Anyone love a good Excel spreadsheet? No, neither do I. No. She gets a, two blocks of chocolate because she agrees I hate Excel, but therefore there's a tool that can help me with that that will build a pretty chart. I can even give it a PDF and then ask the PDF a whole bunch of questions. Gee, it's going to make me look clever. And of course, there's the OpenAI chat block that we can shove into our Moodle and make ourselves look very available and again, very clever. And you can teach it all sorts of cool stuff. Do you want some more? Why not? Hell, I came all the way from Australia. Let's do it, right? The key thing, though, that we really want to do is help our learners, right? Because remind me, how many of you were good educators? Two. Two of you. Oh, it's a tough audience today. We've got two lollies on the way. Who would like to be a good educator after today? Yay! Remember, blatant lying is allowed. All right. Anyone remember when Wikipedia came out? Please, someone be my age. <laughs> Yes, thank you. All right, yeah, keep him standing up. So, And we weren't allowed to use Wikipedia in education. All right, and there were all these things done, can't do this, can't do that, blah, blah, blah. If we're not helping our learners to wrap their heads around this, we suck. Do I need to say that again? Have you got the idea? Our job to make our learners know how to use this stuff. So if you're not really good with AI yet, Easy peasy. <laughs> There's a tool for that. So one of the key things I would say to you is make sure that you've done something around prompt engineering. There's heaps of free stuff out there. There's some really cool courses. Um, there's even a course on Moodle Academy. Wrap your head around some prompt engineering so you can help your learners to talk to ChatGPT and the, the other tools that are coming out. And it'll help you do all those other cool things really well. So, you know, you can do stuff like that. And if I can do it, who else do you think can do it? Absolutely no one in this room. Yeah. Oh, Sarah can do it. Sarah gets a lolly. Can anyone, anyone else think that they can do it if I can do it? Yeah, it's a couple of people. Yeah, beautiful. We'll have a drink later. Now, if that's not enough, right, there were some other things that I thought AI was pretty cool at. Things like and help analyze my dreams. Anyone done that one yet? You blatant liars, you're onto it. <laughs> Generate a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I suck at jokes. I asked it to generate a joke for this one, right? Um, let's see if I can get it right. How many drinks do I have? No, I think we're okay. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Anyone? Wow, I'm going to get a lot of chocolate. Because they make up stuff. They make up everything. <laughs> Lots of lollies coming your way. Good job. <laughs> way better than the joke I would have come up with, so come on. Recommend gifts. Anyone struggle with that? I struggle with that big time. So if nothing else, yep, there's a couple of lollies behind you there, Chad. Put your hand up again, yep. If nothing else, even if you want to remain a really sucky educator and you want to ignore AI, if nothing else, do this stuff, right? Generate excuses. Anyone got a need for that? 
Yeah, I asked it, how can I politely say no to things? I, I, I obviously asked it that after agreeing to do this. <laughs> Uh, it said, uh, I would love to say yes, but I'm on a very strict diet of no yeses. <laughs> Not sure how well that translates, however. And if you've anyone got any old relatives, or any old relatives you don't like, would be even better in this case. Yeah, yeah, great. Chad, why are you sitting down? Where is he? <laughs> oh, he's right next to me, he's just feeding him the lollies. So if you've got some old photos, right, you can give it to an AI tool and ask it to animate it. Like, make them smile and wink and make their heads move a little bit. So if you want to freak out Gran, if you're in someone's will, it's a really cool idea. And the final use that you might have for AI, <laughs> you can even ask it to write an obituary. I'm going to do that later. I asked it to write my biography and I didn't like it, so I wrote it. If you want to know more about AI, you want to keep up to date, there's plenty of places that you can do that, apart from drunk Australians. That's all from me today. I hope you've had some fun and happy to answer questions if you dare. <laughs>